What's up guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. Today we have, I think, 11 bottles for you uh, to start your home bar, home collection, home whiskey Your journey. bourbon journey. Your bourbon journey, which is different than my bourbon journey uh, because that's Scott's channel and Scott's an awesome dude. So right. be sure to go check him out. Uh, this is also my not, bourbon, my bourbon not my bourbon podcast. This is not my bourbon podcast. This is my bourbon show. Right. My bourbon podcast is Perry, who also has a podcast. Uh, actually, it is a podcast. So, yeah, check him out, too, because awesome. He's, he's good stuff. He is. Good guy, too. Funny. Like Perry. Funny, yeah, yeah. Had a kid recently. Congratulations. Funny, yeah. Congratulations. I've seen her. She's real cute. Yeah. So, anyway, um, first up on the list, and these are in absolutely zero particular order. So, uh, we did try and keep it to things that are under $40 in general. And, and pretty much readily available as, as pretty as, much everywhere. Right. As, as right. available as available is. Right. Uh, this should be just about everywhere, though. Jim Beam bonded. It is bottled in bond, which means it's at least four years old, all from the same distillery, same distilling season, and bottled at 100 proof. There's a little more into that, but um, that'll be for the bottled in bond episode, so be sure to check that out. Jim Beam bonded, obviously out of Jim Beam Distillery. Super solid bottle. And this is, I want to say like 18 bucks for a bottle. It's 18 to 25, depending on where yeah. you are, and that's a for real something solid that is price. A, from Jim Beam's, it's going to be good distillate. Right. It's at least four years old and bottled, bottled at 100 proof. So Yeah, it's, and it's it's a super, it's a good drink. It's an easy drink. It's one of the, obviously, ones that we feel you should start your collection with. We've done a blind review on this, and we both absolutely loved it. Yeah, we, we moonshot that bottle. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I don't feel Straight bad about it. Straight to the it. moon. Yeah. So anyway, uh, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Nick, what's the next bottle? Absolutely punches above its weight. The next one, I think, of punches above its weight. Oh, yes. Four Roses Single Barrel. Not a barrel proof, just yes. a regular, everyday single barrel, pretty much everywhere. 40 bucks, give or take. Yeah. And like you said, they're readily available. Uh, as far as single barrels go, single barrels can tend to vary some. Four some roses. distilleries more than others. Four Roses, these are consistency. Consistent. Is like they're how they do it, I don't know. Um, um, I would say if you like a bottle, and you probably should. You'll like all of them, right? Like if for some reason you don't like it, try it. Try it at a bar. Try it somewhere at a friend's house, uh, out of a different bottle, just to make sure that it is right. not a bad bottle. Because they are single barrels, but for all intents and purposes, their their consistency game is on point. Yeah, solid, solidified. What you got next? Uh, the next one we got is also out of Jim Beam, Ooh. and this is Knob Creek. These are at least nine years old. So these are four years old. These are nine years old. These are also bottled at 100 proof. They're in that same $35 to $40 range. If you really want to step it up, go with the single barrel version of this. And they are 120 proof, also nine years old. And they're like 45 bucks. Yeah. That's so not a big price jump for if, some decent age, some good proof, mm -hmm. and, some, and, and realistically, good bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Super underrated. Uh, they always do really well in blind taste tests. Yeah. So, um, yeah, be sure to check them out. If you Like I said, if you want just a big punch of flavor, something more, something hotter, go with that single barrel. But absolutely, nine years old at 100 proof for 35 40 bucks yep. is... Hard to beat. That's really hard to beat. And occasionally you'll find a, a store pick yeah. of the Knob Creek. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this one's not one, yeah. but yes. So, anyway, what you got? What I've got next is... Old Forester Signature Ooh. 100 Proof. That mm -hmm. is a knockout. That ball. is your... It's my jam, too. It's my jam. But it's it is, your jam. It is. It's our jam. Will likely also be your jam. Yeah. Um, um, Adam Brown Foreman. Yep. More fruity than, than I'd say all three of these. Um, Those are a little earthier. Yeah, these. Uh, this gets a lot of spicy. peanut peanutty yep. flavor. Um, I don't pick up the peanut. Out of the bonded? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Out of any of the bean products, really. I'll um, pick up the nuttiness. The Four Roses is straight up textbook bourbon. Mm -hmm. It's your caramel, your vanilla, your um, all those flavors. Yeah. But a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Like there's there's a lot of good stuff coming out of that. This is another one. Fruity, of those. A little more fruity, I would say though, on the Old Forester. Yeah. And it I'm is starting to see a pattern of hundred proof. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, okay. To me, anything that's eighty proof. Basically says we'd water it down less, but we're not allowed. Right now, there is something to be said for an eighty-proof bourbon that's out there 
as as a as an attempt to bring people into the bourbon world. Right? Basil Hayden, right, is a great one, especially if you already like Scotch. Basil Hayden is right. that like gateway, right? Whiskey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and my wife has one of the brothers Bond that they're mm-hmm. you know run by two actors. I think they source from MGP. Uh, there is it's, absolutely it's, some good whiskey out there that's eighty proof. Right. There really yeah. is, and and uh, so the, it's run by two actors, and we're we think I have no proof of this whatsoever. They've bottled it at eighty proof to try and get people into it, right? And then potentially over Stuff time we'll start to get into. we'll start releasing a a higher proof version of it, um, right. you know. But yeah, no, but that that old Forester hundred proof is absolutely is a killer. killer. So, breaking away from the 100 proof... I am appalled. ...is 101 proof. <laughs> Wild Turkey, I know this was like the punishment in high school, college, whatever the case right. may be. You're like, oh, it's 101 proof. It's it's so high. There's so much alcohol. There's so much flavor and right. good flavor. These are generally about eight years old. Um, and they're cheap. And they're cheap, 20, 25 bucks. Some people get them for like 16, 18 bucks a bottle right. in some states. Absolutely check that out. Wild Turkey has been putting out fantastic product for literally decades. Right. And and the great thing about all of these and all of the other ones that we're going to have in the rest of the episode are they're great by themselves, also make great mixed drinks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That they, they, they are the, the distinctive bourbon that you could right. start out with that if you weren't ready to jump jump straight into drinking it neat and wanted to work your way up into stronger cocktails until you felt like you could do it neat, all easy. Easy killer. <laughs> all of these are easily one of those. Yeah, for sure. So, um, what you got? I've got Buffalo Trace. Yes. All right. So uh I went the opposite direction from you because these this is 90 proof. Mm-hmm. Um still fantastic, right? plenty of flavor. Obviously, out of Buffalo Trace. Oh, um, imagine that. Weird. I, I know it's hard to figure out, but it took some research, but we found it. This is uh, one that it is... Really good stuff. It is super good. Some states, I know it is hard to get. Some states, it's not, though. So we were kind of on the fence on whether we wanted to include it or not because it's not readily available everywhere. Right. But it's not, it's not as available as the rest of them, but it is... You know, it might take a little bit of searching, but... But it's not like trying to find an E.H. Taylor barrel proof or something like right. Weller, the high really... Really sought after stuff. Right. Yeah, that's that's the word I'll go for. Right. So um, retails twenty five, twenty eight bucks. Yeah. You know, I've seen them go for forty or more, um, and I'm I'm still pretty comfortable with that bottle in the mid thirty to 40, 30, 35 30, bucks. Thirty thirty five bucks. Yeah. Um, zero problems with that. But that's a it's a good one to have, and and obviously you you don't have to go out and buy all ten or eleven at the same time. You can. Get one or two here or there and oh, work yeah. your way up. You, know, you get one a this, paycheck or whatever. This didn't happen overnight. Well, look, imagine that. Elijah Craig. Hey, look at that. 94 proof. And this is another one. Super fantastic. It is out of Heaven Hill. And they've been doing stuff. They're actually the largest family distillery I know in the country. Maybe in the world. Family-owned distillery. Um, I, there's nothing that comes out of Elijah Craig that I don't love. Mm-mm. They're Except toast for the rye, good. but that's just because I'm not a big rye fan. If you can get fan. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, oh, amazing. They're yeah. Not much no, better than that. that the, the, the regular, basic Elijah Craig, whether it's a store pick or just a regular off-the-shelf bottle, um, is fantastic. And this one is a store pick, so. Yeah. And they're 94 proof. But, yeah, but you so. definitely don't have to get a store pick for it to mm-hmm. be good. No. No, What's absolutely. Over? No, they're they're fantastic. Which so, yeah. We're just going to pretend this doesn't have an extra aspect to the label. Uh, Makers 46. Kyle doesn't have a regular bottle of Makers 46. So this is the cast trait. But the regular Makers 46 is a killer. Fantastic. Right. Absolutely it is delicious. so good. It is uh, it is unreal levels of good. Yeah. The and, amount and of flavor super for, available. what are they, 90, 94 proof, something like that? Okay. Yeah, you were about to look. About to turn can. that bottle around. Yeah, I think they're 90, 94 proof. Like that. Um, the amount of flavor in there is amazing. It is right. all of your your brown sugar, your molasses, um, just all of those dark sugar yeah. notes. Uh, that, so, uh, that, poured over pancakes. Yeah, that, that Maker's 46 stave profile is monstrous yeah. with what it brings. Um, the cast Super strength delicious. really kicks it up a notch, but that's 
out of the price range of this particular selection. Right. The Maker's 46 is in the 30 to $40 range, depending on yep. where you are. And it's usually 30, 35 yeah. bucks. No. And it's absolutely worth every single penny. Uh, in my opinion, every single bottle that we've got lined up so far and the ones that we haven't pulled out just yet are without a doubt punching above their weight as yep. far as price point goes. Um, and I would put any of them up against bottles that are twice or more. If any of these said, hey, we're raising our, you know, baseline price five bucks, I'd be like, okay. Wouldn't even flinch. Yeah. I mean, it would suck, but it is what it is. Um, here's one. Very old Barton. This is the 100 proof, I believe. Yep. Uh, they have an 80 proof and a 90 proof as well. It is out of Barton Distillery. Go figure. And also 1792, definitely on the list. The small batch. Usually 30, 35 bucks again. Right. These are, I think, in that 18 to 20 dollar range. It's, it's a killer. And a lot of flavor. Uh, it is more of your bananas fruitiness. I would say it's closer to the old Forester. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, the, dark sugar, standard bourbon, fruity, standard bourbon, kind of standard bourbon earthiness. Earthy, savory kind of flavors. Yeah, a little more spicy. Um, like a baking spice kind of spice. Uh, pretty standard Yeah, bourbon. pretty standard bourbon, and I would say more fruity. So be sure to check out Barton and 1792. Both of them are fantastic. Yep. So what's your last bottle over there? Last but not least. Nope, your last bottle, not mine. But my last but not least. Right. Evan Williams well, Bottled and Bond. 100%. 15 bucks? 100%. It's like 15 to $18, mm -hmm. depending on where you are, maybe 20 it's at least four years old. It's 100 proof. It is a monster. Yeah. Um, I don't even know why people buy the regular Evan Williams when this is on the shelf for just a few dollars more. Right. And, and it's, some it's, it's The a, regular Evan Williams is good, but no, that's but just... At the end of the day, it's effectively perfect. the same price. Right. You know, like, once if it's under $10... For the amount of alcohol you're getting, right. it's the same price. The regular Evan Williams is, what, like 12 bucks? There's something like that, yeah. yeah. These are 14-ish, 15 maybe. It's effectively the same. Right. Like it's if you're looking at these bottles, it's the same price. Right. So um yeah, again, but that is your absolute standard textbook bourbon. Just fantastic. Right. And then um something a little different on the list, uh, because we had to include a rye. Not because we had he, to, but he had to include a rye. Yeah, I love I love rye. I do. Um, he's not a big rye guy, but hey, to each their own. Old Forester rye, again, right at 100 proof. This is kind of new to the market in the last few years. Uh, obviously from Old Forester, wherever that one, whether it is. Absolutely fantastic. Earthiness. Um, it's not your really dill forward rye. It's more of a, more of like a bready rye, more earthiness, more just, it's just good. Okay, just goodness. And realistically, at the end of the day, there's a bottle here for pretty much everybody. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. hundred percent. If you're not quite ready to make the jump to rise, that's fine. There are other rise. Elijah Craig's rise, I think, similar pricing mm -hmm. um, and similar proof to the regular Elijah it's Craig. 94 proof, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's an option as well. Yep. There's there's lots of other options. Uh, Wild Turkey's got a rye. Just like bourbon, rye is its own separate thing, and it has its own flavor categories. Like right. there's super spicy rye. There's rye that taste exactly like rye bread. There's rye that are really earthy. I really like those ones. There's ones that taste straight up like dill pickles. Definitely not him. Yeah, so there's it has a lot of its own. So just because you don't like one doesn't mean you won't like the other. And just like bourbon, if you don't like this one, doesn't mean you won't like this one. Right. So be nice. sure to check them out. And what would we say, 11? Yeah. Yeah. So there is 11 bourbons and a rye uh, for you to get started with. Start your collection. Start tasting. Find some friends that are a, either into whiskey or interested in whiskey. Uh, I can't tell you how many people we've brought in here. And I just let them try all kinds of different stuff to see what they like. So if you have a friend like that. Go to their house, and they were, I'm sure they would be more than happy to let you try a bunch of their stuff. I'm going to stop you right there. I don't know how many people have friends that have this. No, no, no. no maybe not this. Yeah, but they, <laughs> um, If you have a friend that has a couple of bottles. Right. I mean, even if they have three or four bottles. Right. Or even two or three. Yeah. That's plenty to be like, oh. Get together and have just like a whiskey night. Yeah. Uh, that's 
when I got started in whiskey in 2004, five-ish, something like that, yeah. whiskey wasn't a big category at the time. It mm-hmm. wasn't a big thing. And all of these were pretty much available, but oh yeah, for the most part. But that's what we did is we were like, cool, we're going to have um, basically like a whiskey get-together, mm-hmm. bourbon get-together, and everyone bring, go to the store, find a bottle that you think no one else has tried, and bring it. And we'll right. all try all of them. Yeah. Or see if there's like a, a bourbon society in your area yep, and see if they've got option. like any meetups or tastings or whatever and go there because then, you know, everybody brings bottles and you and get to taste a lot of the other pe- stuff. The people that go to those, you have to realize, A, they're usually whiskey geeks, bourbon geeks, whatever the case may be. And they would be more than happy to bring you in and let you try way more than you should in a single night. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, man, you got to try this. You got to try it. Oh, man, if you had this, all right, well, you got to taste this. All right, well, you got to taste this, too, like just a little bit. And, I mean, people get excited, man. And the the bourbon community is a great community. It's, Everybody loves to share it. Yeah. Right? In the well, bourbon, that's what bourbon's for. Is, right. It's in, for sharing. In the bourbon community, the, of course, you have the people, the hoarders. Right. Right. But you have you – have, the majority of people in the community want to share it. Right. They want to share their passion with new people. And usually, it. like, even for not new people, like, when I'm by myself, this is the kind of bottles I drink. I have lots of really expensive, allocated, whatever bottles. Mm-hmm. These are the bottles I drink when I'm by myself. When people come over, I'm like, ooh, let's get out the good shit. Right. Because it's best shared with yeah. friends. Yeah, especially if they've never tried it before. It's an experience. You're You're together. <laughs> And, and at the end of the day, no matter how much somebody is into whiskey, if they come over to your house and you pour them a Old Forester 100 or a Knob Creek. Right. Well, if, they're, if, they're, if they're into whiskey, they're going to be like, oh, that's good stuff. You know, or yeah. oh, I like that. I have probably close to 900 bottles in here. And if I go over to someone's house, and I think this is probably the cheapest bottle on the table. If that's what they had and that's what they poured me, I'd be like, man, that stuff is really good. Because it is. Because it is. Right. Not, not just because that's the only bottle they had, but because it's good. Right. And, and there's okay. nothing wrong with bottom shelf bourbons. Absolutely not. So, not and not all these are bottom shelf by any nope. means. But uh, they should be all under about 40 bucks. They should be semi-easily to, able to find. Yeah, I would say like, realistically the only one that's going to be kind of hard to find is going to be the Buffalo Trace for some people. Yeah. The rest of the stuff is pretty much everywhere. I, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Um, some places these. Anyway, um, Patreon members, absolutely love you guys. If you want to help us and support us, go to patreon.com slash bourbon blind. Uh, t-shirts at Teespring that neither one of us are wearing right now. But uh, those are at the link in the description as well. And if you bought more, we could afford to have more. Of them. Right. <laughs> we could afford to have our own shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, please go check that out. Um, if you made it this far in the video, bravo to you guys. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's about it. Yeah. So until next week, cheers and drink blind. Drink your way. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next